African Americans, uh, men and women, are more likely to die from cancer in comparison to any other racial ethnic group here in the United States. We continuously ask ourselves the question, why? Why is that the case? Here at Morehouse School of Medicine, we're battling cancer on all fronts. From the discoveries that we're making in the laboratory, with the application of new technologies that will advance our understanding of this deadly disease. And just as important, we're bringing this fight against cancer into the communities that we serve, those adversely impacted by cancer. The joy of innovation is to take something and revolutionize the way that it's done. Through my research at Morehouse School of Medicine, I'm asking the types of questions that will allow us to discover a better way to treat cancer. Currently, in my lab, we have developed a novel method of looking at BRCA function, which can predict the risk of development of triple negative breast cancer in young African American women. We're looking at using laser activated nanoparticles to deliver a targeted therapy to cancer. I'm using antibodies, which are popularly known now as immunotherapy. And I'm using that as the delivery vehicle to deliver the nanoparticles to the site of the tumor, which allows for a very targeted approach to induce tumor regression. We now know at least one of the mechanisms by which BRCA dysfunction can result in triple negative breast cancer. And based on that, we have issued a patent, which is the only patent in the world, by predicting triple negative breast cancer early and then by developing personalized targeted therapy, we are reducing the mortality in African American women. Here at Morehouse School of Medicine, we're giving hope, we have hope, and we are hopeful. The tragedy for me of the healthcare system is that where you live impacts potentially how long you live. The communities and neighborhoods that we partner with really bear the brunt of health disparities, whether it's prostate, breast cancer, or even cervical cancer. I think the major gap is access. And making sure that the African-American community has access to all the diagnostic, therapeutic, and preventative measures, especially as it relates to cancer. Having access at the primary care level and at the specialty level to measures that screen folks for those particular cancers is critical. The health of our population start with us knowing how to engage and relate with those who are most in need. A lot of what we do is to ensure that people are aware of their risk. We also ensure that we engage with community leaders. For example, we partner with local churches to develop a colorectal cancer screening and education program. We know that people engaged with those they trust, and churches were critical to this. It increased their rates of colorectal cancer screening and then increased their linkage to care. Here at Morehouse School of Medicine, we are passionate and committed to ensuring that all individuals have access to quality of care, and we are dedicated to saving lives. Through its existence for the past 40 years, Morehouse School of Medicine has really cultivated a niche as one dedicated to the medically underserved, as one dedicated to disenfranchised populations. Morehouse School of Medicine is poised um, to do something great, to do something novel, to do something innovative, something that hasn't been done before. We're leading the creation and advancement of health equity.